After the Super Bowl, Mike Tannenbaum tweeted this. If the NFL hiring process started today, as many had suggested, how in demand would Todd Bowles and Byron Leftwich be? And I talked about this on my radio show yesterday, Mike. It does seem as though all these coaching jobs get filled up before the most important games are played. So I'm yielding my unsolicited advice time to you. How should this go? Well, hopefully I can keep your, your standards up. We hire out of convenience in the NFL, and I know because I've been there. When we hired Rex Ryan going back to 2009, Greeny, we were actually rooting against him because we wanted to get him in the seat as quickly as possible, and they're playing the Steelers in the playoffs. The cycle should start 9 a.m. Monday morning after the Super Bowl, and any team that violates this rule, they lose three first-round picks. And what that will do is that will equal the playing field it's certainly going to help with minority candidates. This is a great example when Byron Leftwich and Todd Bowles would be unbelievably in demand if the searches started this week. And it would be better for our sport, taking nothing away from Brandon Staley, David Culley. They were the best available coaches. We want to hire the best coaches possible. So if we started Monday morning after the Super Bowl, just imagine the platform that Coach Bowles, Coach Leftwich would have because of their performance the other night, it would help minority hiring, and we would have the right coaches in the right seats. I'd like it because it feels to me it's counterintuitive that a, a coach in this case is being, uh, I don't know, punished is the wrong word, but it is, it is a disadvantage the further his team goes in the playoffs to his possibilities of getting a job. It also shouldn't be a disadvantage for the teams that make it deep in the playoffs to have their offseason start later than everyone else's offseasons. So I like it. Dominique Foxworth, to you out but I know what I want to say anyway like I, I love what I love the intent right here from Tannenbaum however like I think I watched the game too and I don't know what happened what sort of racial reckoning we had where we are in some sort of post-racial America after what happened in that football game but I think Mike at least for the minority hiring situation I think you misunderstand the problem the problem isn't the timing the problem is the the biases that the that so many who run organizations have. I don't think that the issue with minority hiring is that they don't get enough time or, or the, their teams go too deep in the playoffs to get a fair opportunity. The issue is that when people look at them, they don't see leaders. So that's the problem. Unless something happened that I missed or something goes on that everyone's just so high off the Super Bowl that they forget that they're racist, I don't see that this having any, any impact on um, minority hiring necessarily. I wish that it was as simple as, as changing the date, then we could fix a lot of things if we just pushed them back a few months. So, so I appreciate the sentiment, but I think it comes from like your personal experience and from my experience from outside looking in and watching this and just my experience in life that the issue is not the timeline as much as the issue is biases. Go ahead, Mike. I'll, I'll let you respond before I give a thought on that. Go ahead. Yeah, and, and that's a really fair point, Nick, that you're making. And I'm trying to be much more fundamental, which is if we equal the playing field, and it's really almost thinking about once the season ends, the first month is coaching free agency, and the goal of it is by equaling the playing field, then hopefully more minorities will have an opportunity because in this case, Coach Bienemy, Bowles, Leftwich would all have much greater opportunities because – when they're available to sign and hire staffs, that's only going to increase their chances of getting jobs. So that was my point of it, which was it's a leveling the playing field, it's fairness. And then from a big picture macro standpoint, from the NFL, you want to have the best coaches in the seats, and this will give the best coaches from the best teams that opportunity. Yeah, and Nick, the way I looked at it, it didn't even the tweet didn't even address the the overwhelming issue of minority coaches not getting opportunities. To me, it is just simply a matter of why would we be choosing our next head coaches before the most important games are being played, regardless of any other circumstance? In this case, it would have been Byron Left, which I think, who's a name that I didn't even hear during the hiring cycle, who might be getting an opportunity. But I, I think those two didn't go together necessarily in my mind, and I understand the point you're making. I don't know that it would address that one way or the other. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.